Hi, I'm Steve Pond from The Wrap. We're here at the Sundance Film Festival with the team behind Black Bear. Director Michael, Lawrence Michael Levine, Aubrey Plaza, Sarah Gadden, welcome. Um, I, I saw the film yesterday. I don't know how much of it I, we should describe. I mean, it's, it, it's crazy. I, mean, I love it, but it starts out as one as very controlled film, and then it kind of goes apeshit, and then it shifts. <laughs> and, I mean, it's... It's wonderful, but I wonder where where did the idea come from? Did you always envision that halfway through it would change into something else? And no, um, I kind of I embraced. I, I've said this in a couple of interviews, so I've just been instructed to get, do some variety. But um, I don't know how much variety I can do. I only wrote it one way. Um, I did. Uh, I I tried like I experimented with a new technique of writing, which was more um, kind of. Uh, instead of outlining the whole movie I um, and mapping it out very specifically I I meditated and let images come to me and I put those images on cards and um, it was much more it was less conscious and more uh, spontaneous writing mm-hmm. process mm-hmm. so they, they just yeah those scenes all these twists and things they kind of surprised me while I was writing it but um, but that was fun Mm-hmm. It was really fun to write it. Right. Did you ever think, you know, can I get away with this? I mean, it's yeah. a tricky thing to pull off when you're halfway through, you sort of pull the rug out from under the audience. I thought about it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, I'm glad it seemed like audiences liked it last or the audience liked it last night, which was cool. But yeah, I didn't know. I had no idea if we could get away with it. Right. Well, Aubrey and Sarah, did yeah, you? Yeah, they helped a lot. <laughs> When you were doing, did you wonder if this was going to work? I mean, no, I mean, I think, I think we, I think the challenge was, you know, thinking about the the movie in two parts, and then thinking about the characters in two parts, and and trying to make some decisions about how we wanted that to work. But I mean, usually when I go into making a movie, it's like you're not going to question everything, and you have to kind of trust the process of it. I usually question everything <laughs> and um, <laughs> reserve my trust for <laughs> never. Um, I yeah, I I was scared that it w- about it working or not, but I was I guess I was more just hope ho- yeah, hoping that people would you know want to be along for the ride. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's really performance driven. They were very brave to do the movie, and yeah, they give very brave performances. I think. Right. Well, I th- I mean the, f- the first stretch of the movie is is wonderful because you have these conversations, like Sarah, the conversations between you and your partner. It's like they talk, and everything they say begins with them correcting the other person. I mean, it, it's how d- did it? Are you telling me you never have been there in a in our no, in a relationship? Is that, <laughs> is that triggering for you, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I, I. But it's. You know, you listen to these conversations, and of course, it, we've all been there. Mm. Um, but it's also like, how long can they sustain this? Where everything between these two people starts with them correcting the mm. the partner. I mean, was when you and Chris were were working that out. I mean, was it? Did you rehearse it a lot? To um, we, you know, it was um It's an indie film, so we didn't have like a huge window for rehearsal, but. We were pretty isolated in the woods, and once we all got there, we spent some time talking about the script and talking about the scenes. Um, I, I knew Chris from before we were friends, which I think helps um, because we have a rapport, and I, I, kn- I know him. I know what he's like, so that, that helps. Um, he's also a really great actor, and I think we all kind of just fed off of each other. And we spent a lot of time together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, this film does depict in the second half the most manipulative d- director-actress relationships we'll, oh, we'll ever see. This is a total spoiler. Um, so, but, but I guess what you're talking about it? Pardon me? It's a spoiler, what you just said, but it's okay. Oh. It's okay. Well, I, I, without going into any kind of detail, I mean, yes, there's a manipulative relationship between the director mm-hmm. and, and his actors so we don't need to talk about the plot but what's the relationship like here oh um 
I would hope it's nothing like the one in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you have to ask them. Um, um, no, it's not like that. No. No, not at all. Um, no, I know, but it, no, but you know, working with a, your partner, you know, I, my partner is a filmmaker. We've shot movies together. Um, when you're in a relationship and you're in a, you know, you, you're working on a movie together, it's complicated and um, and it's a really th- hard thing to navigate. And it's really interesting and very ripe for um, material. So. Mm-hmm. 